Today's lesson is about money. Everyone needs money. So today, I'm going to teach you a few phrasal verbs to do with money. Hi guys, I'm Samantha. And like I said, I'm going to teach you a few phrasal verbs to do with money. But first, what are phrasal verbs? A phrasal verb is a combination of a verb and a preposition. Okay? A verb and a preposition. For example, switch off. The verb is switch. The preposition is off. Right? So what you need to understand is when you change the tense, you need to change it on the verb, not the preposition. Because prepositions do not have tenses. Then prepositions can be any part of the thing. Prepositions were to appear tense ka kale change karan na bed. Right? For example, you can't say switch off somehow. Preposition ne ka ta idi kadana. That's wrong. It's switched off or switching off. Hamatissima verb beke kyani kriya pade tamay kale venasir. Alright? I hope that was clear. Let's begin. The first phrasal verb to do with money is put down. Put down. Now you put down a deposit when you want to buy a house. Or a car. Okay, right? Down payment. So for that we say put down. You have to put down a certain amount of money. Okay? Then pay off. Pay off a loan. Api hito mo naag gata. Iti nang bank hoi naag gata nang api polio diya ba nawa. Chutta chutta capital account diya ba nawa. And finally at the end, ha, give it a ibara. That's how we say pay off. I paid off the loan that I took. Okay? Pay off, paid off, past tense. Then chip in. What is to chip in? Imagine at an office, this happens a lot. Officers wala kage hari bate kakna. Okumala salidana ne the tag gagana. Right? Waki other than waki up then other. Ehima wate gila chutu chuta pi ekutu karna. That is to chip in. We all chipped in and bought her a gift. Okay? We all chipped in and bought her a gift. Pay back. Pay back. Kya ne aapu dena? Sali. Sali kaagin hari api gatta. Ek api aapu deno ni. So you have to pay back the money that you borrowed. Save up. Save up is the next one. Imagine you want to buy that phone. Aluk phone ne ka kya bila? Ek poda ganam. Iti aapu ek hote sali itro karan no ni. So we say, I have to save up money to buy that new phone. Okay? Dip into. That's the next one. Dip into. Now this is not a very happy phrasal verb. Imagine you have savings. Would I cut a savings account? But this year, So you say, I have to dip into my savings. Okay, I need to buy that something important. You say, I have to dip into my savings. Right. Cut back. Cut back. 
is to reduce your spending. Now there are some people who will just spend. Right? So when you are in a tight spot and you have no earnings, right? you have to cut back on your spending. So that is to cut back. Right, the next phrasal verb is rip off. Rip off. Now to be ripped off means that you have spent too much. Right? For example, I spent 400 rupees on this marker. 400 you say? Rupiah harasiyak. Make it up. I was ripped off. Let me put this away. Right. The next one is cough up. What is to cough up? Cough up means to pay for something that you don't want to pay. What? Gevanna venadak. It can be. Now cough means to cough. <coughs> For example, imagine you have been speeding. Now you are in your vehicle and you were speeding. Who stops you? A policeman. What happens? You end up paying a Fine. Do you want to? Would you like to? No. So you have to cough up the money for that fine. Right? Scrape by. Scrape by. Scrape by means to have money only for the basics. Obviously, meals and things like that right so for example i lost my job i don't have an income so now i'm scraping by life is very difficult we are scraping by okay the last one is very similar it's get by get by Get by also means to have only money for the basics. Right? I'm scraping by. So they say, don't worry. I'm getting by. Right? So can you see the difference? Scrape by means you know that person has nothing. Poor thing. She is scraping by. She says, I'm getting by. Oh, you don't have to worry about her. She is getting by. Okay? So those are the phrasal verbs to do with money. I'll see you soon with another lesson in phrasal verbs.